Hello everyone, this is uh, DB0 and uh, I'm making going to make this short video to explain how you can play my latest plugin Star Wars the card game on Octagon. Uh, this plugin will basically take you through the basics of the game and explain how to use the engine in the most efficient way at this moment. This is going to go on uh, version 1.0.2 of the plugin which is currently the latest, but in the future it will probably be a higher version and probably a bit more advanced. But for now, uh, this baseline will show you how to be able to play the, in the easiest way. So, first things first, first we load our deck. Let's play a classic match of Jedi vs Sith. This is the starter decks that are shown in the rulebook. Now, once we load our deck, we see here we got one affiliation card in our hand, plus our 40 counters in the command deck and 8 objectives. Uh, the first thing we do in the game, each player has to do this, is we right click on the table and we go into the game and set up. This will basically uh, prepare your decks, we will shuffle them, then go online, download your card scripts, and finally show you the message of the day plus some tips on how to play and use the plugin. So, after you press Ctrl Shift S, you see that our uh, affiliation is on the table plus the little palace of the Force card. This card always appears initially next to the dark side and it's on the light and shows the light side as the rules explain. So, you see here that we get our four objectives this is the four objectives that we start the game that we have to choose uh, to start the game. We need to choose one of them and put it back at the bottom of our deck. Uh, you could do it manually by dragging the card until you see that little arrow and that will put it on the bottom. But you can easily just mouse over the card and press the delete button, which is discard. This will automatically take care that the objective is put to the bottom of your deck and then your opponent will know that you've selected your objectives. The other player needs to do the same. So, Ctrl Shift S, set up the cable, wait a second until the uh, uh, scripts are downloaded and there we go. We don't want to see any more tips. There we go. So we have our starting objectives. Uh, let's just discard this one. So now we have our start. We've selected our objectives. Again, all you need to do is press Ctrl Shift S a second time, and this will now set your objectives on the table and dra draw your starting hand. And there we go. Same thing. The other player, Ctrl Shift S, and starting hand. As you can see, the game now informs you that the dark side has the initiative. This, according to the rules, the dark side always goes first. So, we now can start the game as the dark side. Uh, the game is built around a framework of phases. So, you have your phases per turn, and you can jump to any of them through the phase menu. But you should always try to use move to the next phase action. This will automatically take care that you're going through your phases in order and make sure that you skip any phase that need to be skipped, as you will see later. So for now, move to the next phase, and the game will advance that this is the balance phase for this player. Uh, once you move to the balance phase, as a dark side, the death star will advance by one automatically. Your death star, is, your death star dial is here, and it shows, uh, it sinks among both players. So. When the death star advances, advances, it advances for both say, players at the same time. This just lets you see it on the quick. So we don't need to do anything else during the balance phase, so we just progress to the next one. So control enter again, refresh phase. Again, this is the first refresh phase, there's nothing else to do at this point. So again, control enter or move to the next phase, draw phase. During the draw phase, the game will give you an opportunity to discard one of your cards. So in this case, we have six cards, all of them quite expensive. So we may, more, may want to get rid of one to get something better. So let's get rid of the Rancor for now. 
press delete and that will discard one of your cards and now once we move to the next phase uh, it will automatically refill our hand I could do it manually by simply refilling my hand but this is one extra click so we can just move to the next phase automatically refilled now the game will automatically inform you deployment phase now we can actually play our cards here's how you do it when you want to play one of your cards in the game uh, according to the rules you first have to put the card on the table and then try to pay it I'm guessing this is because the opponent player at some point may have interrupts that increase your score so in the plugin it's implemented in exactly the same way so first we double click the card to put it on the table let's count our resources first we have one two three four resources so we get get a maximum of four resources in the table that's not enough for Vader and not enough for security team and night sister so we'll start simply with the night sister so we double click on our card or we simply select play card now the will card will go on the table in the, top, in, the in this location which is uh, just to show you the card that's waiting will be paid it will have this yellow outline this gold outline uh, any card you see with this gold outline means it's waiting to be paid by you or by your opponent on the other side of the table so now we go ahead and pay it to generate the resource you need to pay for the cards you simply double click on a card that provides resources in this case or any of our objectives so we double click the Sith card we double click our Fall of the Jedi you can see here as you add the resources uh, it adds these little tokens these little tokens mean what kind of resources you've already assigned to pay for this card we are assigned uh, two Sith resources and let us assign the third one and now the card is paid, the yellow outline is gone and the card is moved to the location in the middle this automatically takes care to put your cards in a sensible way so you don't have to worry about uh, moving your cards around too much ok so we don't have anything else to pay for, everything else is too expensive so we're just going to go ahead and end our turn and end our uh, phase so once more, control enter and now it says here, attention, anything you see in the chat box will be this little attention box or anything basically that starts and ends with these uh, three columns it's, uh, I'm trying to basically get your attention to the chat box to give you some information in this case it's telling you that uh, first of all we skipped our conflict phase according to the rules uh, the dark side doesn't get a conflict phase during the first turn and then I'm telling you that uh, once you've committed your units you want to the force you can press ctrl F6 to resolve the force struggle because we are indeed in the force phase as we skipped the conflict so how do you commit to the force? Uh, it's quite easy simply right click on the unit commit to the force or press ctrl F committing to the force will put the black outline uh, on your card black outline means your unit is committed to the dark side of the force the light side gets a white outline um, this card also has an ability to do one damage to the target objective uh, this is not automated for now, in the future it will be so we can just do it manually so how do you do damage to another objective? you notice you try to click on a card of your opponent, you can't uh, this is prevented by the engine itself you don't control the card so you can't actually affect cards you don't control I could take control of the card and then add damage but it's easier than that you don't have to mess around with the control simply select one of the cards with shift and click and this will basically put this little targeting icon on the card this will inform you and your opponent that you're targeting this card for an ability and it will also be used by the scripts to know what uh, where they should put their effects so in this case we target the card and then we go to right click on the table and then go to tokens targeted this is an effect that you can only do once you've selected a little target and we do damage there we go damage token on the objective and you can just shift click again on the card to unselect it ok so that's our commitment to the force uh, so as the rule said you can now press ctrl F6 to resolve the force struggle so ctrl F6 
and again will inform you, it will automatically do the calculation um, it says I have two points, my opponent has zero points so the dark side uh, tips the balance to the, uh, to the side and there we go, the little balance of the force is tipped control enter once more and then I've entered my turn now my opponent can start their own so let's go to my alternate itself as we can see here my starting hand is not particularly strong so I'm simply going to start my turn for now and we go balance phase for me on balance phase since the balance of force is not with me we won't do anything I'm just going to proceed to the next phase refreshing there's nothing to refresh and anyway I have to skip any focus uh, anything I remove with focus so I continue control enter again draw phase so now it probably is a good idea to discard one of all these fate cards I have far too many of them to get something else it hurts to destroy your twist of fate but sometimes you get dealt a crappy hand so let's continue to the next phase which will automatically refill my hand okay so we got an R2T2 as well okay so no deployment phase same as the other side we first play our card then we can give it a to uh, we have to pay it the R2T2 uh, it costs zero so it's automatically placed in the, the normal location you don't have to actually pay for it so we can now continue playing the other units so let's try to bring the Twi'lek Loyalist he has uh, one cost for Jedi resources so we use our hand or uh, our house our affiliation and he gets next to r 2 and finally let's bring in C3PO as well so we have to pay him one but we have to pay him only a neutral resource so we can easily use whatever and there we go so now don't have anything more to deploy control enter now I have far too many fate cards in my hand so it's probably a good idea to attack some objectives so I am going to simply uh, show you how uh, objective assaults work um, to start an objective assault, the first thing you can do is you to be in the conflict phase. Once you're in the conflict phase, you simply shift and click on one objective that you want to, at to attack. For now, let's go to Polar Jedi. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now we have the objective we want to attack, and again, we simply right click on the table. That when you right click on the table, it will give you the generic actions and there you have a lot of the targeted abilities so here you find all the stuff that you do when you have a target uh, a card targeted with shift click so we want to attack the target objective so when you do that the card will turn blue this blue outline this means a defending objective and now we can shift click and remove our uh, uh, targeting whoops sometimes it doesn't work very well you have to click on an empty spot in the on the card sometimes it just doesn't like it well, as soon as you see the little uh, the little uh, uh, bigger version of the card then you can actually shift click to target it or not yeah okay so we have now our target objective so how do we assign units simply I will double click on my uh, participant and that automatically assigns him the, uh, to the assault. Now, once you have signed the number of units you want to assign, uh, you should inform your, your opponent. Uh, in, the pro in the future, I probably can put some uh, uh, messages, some automatic uh, messages you can press from here to tell them that you've assigned them. But for now, you can just type uh, done or something. Yeah, so uh, now our opponent can also assign units let's say I'm going to defend with the night sister for now so in that case I'm going to send here as a participant and now I'm going to see the, the edge battle as well 
Okay, so uh, so these two are now we can see them tapped like this. This means that they are uh, both participating in the battle. Don't worry about their state. Once the engagement is finished, they will both untap. So uh, now we're going to the edge uh, struggle. So both players can play one edge card from the hand to. Uh, we start with the attacker and then with the alternate uh, edge playments. So I'm going to play the heat of battle, which I was expecting I would have to use. And I'm going to the other player. Let's play these guys. So let's not get too complicated. Uh, let's stick with this. So once you don't want to play any more edge cards, you can simply declare a pass. So the other player we we'll also declare a pass, and now we both are ready to start. So, once both players have passed six sub sub uh, sequently, um, all you need to do to show your red card is double click on them. So now the dark sides have revealed the red cards. Now the light side does the same, and this doesn't automatically compare them because first go the fate cards. In this case, uh, the fate card of me. Uh, fires off and it automatically does one damage to enemy unit. This is not automated, it will be in the future, but for now just target her and tokens damage. The, when you take enough damage to kill you, you don't get automatically discarded. I leave that for the opponent to do, just in case they have interrupts or reactions in their hand. So in that case they don't have any, so simply mouse over the card, press delete, the card goes to your discard pile. So now we've finished with the edge battle, and now we compare the edge. To compare the edge file, the edge battle, simply double click on the on, on the edge cards of one side, and it will compare the edge, and it will automatically give a little token to the player who wins. And you can see at the bottom that the Jedi have won the engagement, one force versus two force. So now back to our original uh, attack. Uh, the Twi'lek Loyalist is going to simply attack. When you attack with a character, it will automatically assign the damage to the place it needs to go. In this case, he has tactics and uh, unit uh, damage. So when I double click on him, the game will inform me that uh, I didn't have any units targeted, so no counters were auto assigned. Uh, if I had, if the uh, uh, sister was in the game, still, I could simply have targeted with shift click and then the game would have put tokens on her. Uh, it's a bit more complicated if you have a lot of symbols with the target units, but uh, in generally most of the time it works freely straightforward. Simply target the unit and double click on your attacker. Now there's no more, more participants, so the engagement is finished. So what do we do? We go right click on the table again, phases, finish engagement, or simply press F10. Now this automatically un uh, untaps all the cards, so we know they're not participants anymore. If we are unopposed, as we see here, unopposed, uh, there's no other participants on the opposite side, so we declare an extra damage to the objective. So there we go, it automatically took a damage. And the uh, objective engagement is finished. So since I'm pretty unopposed here, I'm going to send my R2D2 to do to assault an objective as well, this brave droid, so I can do it even though he doesn't have any uh, abilities, because he's going to be unopposed, so why not? So control A to start the uh, engagement, double click on my unit to select that participant, Dub there's no edge battle, so in this case we have to remember to discard our card, so there's no edge battle, or rather uh, there is an edge battle but I win it automatically, so I just double click on him. That gives him a focus token when he attacks, but he has no effect, he has no ability. And F10 to finish the objective. There we go, extra damage just for being unopposed. Finally, the same with R2 uh, C3PO, select an objective, Control A, double click, participant, double click, focus, F10 to finish. If you get it 
uh, if you get the way it works, it actually works quite fast. So now we're done with our engagements, control enter, and we go into the force phase. Since all my units are unready, I cannot commit any of them to the force, which means it will stay with the dark side. So now that I think I don't have anything to commit to the force, control enter, and uh, the force struggle is tied, there's nobody in the committed to the force on either side, and the balance remains to the dark side. So, go to the other player. So, our opponent did quite some damage last turn, so now it's again our turn. Control lender to balance. Now, you see that because the balance of the force is with us, the force automatically advanced the dial by two. So, no need to remember to do that extra. Control lender again. This will now, as you can see, automatically refresh all cards. All the uh, focus tokens are gone. And control enter. We go into the draw phase. And we discard the target of opportunity. Control enter to refill our hand. Okay, so not a lot of units. Only got this little replica droid. Not very good looking. So let's do whatever we can do. See the library. Again, same way as before, double click on the card, called outline, we have to pay it, double click, card paid. Let's the enchantments, the enhancements that are played on your area, uh, don't not move automatically. Maybe in the future I'll figure out where to put them. But we now you can move them wherever you want. So now we have some units. And let's play the human replica droid. It's not particularly impressive, but it might scare our opponent. So one, two, three paid. We don't have any more money, we only have this one, so that's not really enough to do anything. Control enter, conflict phase. I'm not going to attack because my opponent has quite a lot of attackers, so I probably want to st stick my replica droid to defend. Control enter, force phase. Um, so control enter, once more, ended up there. Let's go to the other side. So once more control enter, we start our turn. Balance phase, we don't control the force, so nothing extra. Controller, all our units and uh, uh, objectives are unfocused. Draw phase, let's discard the twist of fate. Let's get something better. Let's bring this. And what else can we do? We can actually play Trust Your Feelings, why not? So here is how uh, enhancements work that are targeted to specific units. This one is Trust Your Feelings. It has to enhance a character unit. When you have such an enhancement that has to have a specific target, first we have to target the uh, character you're going to enhance. In this case, let's target our Twi'lek Loyalist. Then you double click on your enhancement to play it. Again, cause in the middle, white, uh, yellow outline. So now we have to play it. So, one, you can see now it's a neutral object, neutral resources, plus one more. And check, the card goes automatically under the assigned character. Uh, the effects are not automated yet, in the future they will be. But now you just have to keep track of it uh, by yourself. Okay, so I don't think there's anything less to, uh, else to do. So I'm going to control lender, go into the conflict phase. So, let's say I want to attack some more. Let's target one objective. And here. Yeah. If you try to double click a card and uh, you haven't for you for example, forgot to start the engagement, the game will tell you there's nothing to do at this moment. First, you have to start the engagement by attacking an objective. Again, it becomes blue. Once you have blue, then you can double click your card. Okay, on the other side, let's say I'm going to try to surprise my enemy and just force choke him. Um, according to the rules, I can actually do an action, if I remember correctly, after the edge battle. So I'm saying you're going unopposed, 
Okay. So, my opponent reads the edge battle. He doesn't use any cards because he doesn't have to. So, at this point, I say, okay, force choke. Two run damage, darker or creature unit. It's not automated. Again, in future will be. Shift click, put the damage again. Alt D. So now, in this case, we do have an interrupt if I remember correctly. And in this case, we just play lightsaber deflection. So I say, no, you're not going to do damage to me. You're going to do damage to your human replica droid, because you can target anything else. So how does this work? If you want to remove a you know, uh, counter, you can do it in two ways. Either you can simply drag it off, so in this case I'm going to drag it to the replica droid, easy, or you can also use the ability to remove a damage counter if you had one. But in this case, just dragging it is easier and actually does what we wanted to do. So again, the poor uh, dark side is thwarted, I seem to have exactly the cards that I need, and I managed to deflect his force choke with my lightsaber. So, Replica Droid doesn't have anything else to avoid the death, it goes away. So, discard your cards, discard here, and now I'm still on a post. I do my attack, my attack won't do anything anyway, and then F10. If you forget, let's say that I forgot to press F10, and you go to attack another objective, once I press Control, uh, once I start the next battle, it's going to uh, finish the previous engagement. Zack. So the previous engagement is finished, it even adds the extra damage, and uh, this basically the game makes sure that uh, you don't forget various effects in the game. So I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to send my, my droids, unopposed, and I'm going to just F10. In this case I'm not going to send my C-3PO because I need to take the balance of the force pack back. So I'm going to finish the engagement phase, go into the force phase, force phase, commit to the force, C-3PO is becoming white, control enter to finish, and the balance of the force comes to our side. And my turn is ended. Let's go to the dark side. Okay, this time we have quite a lot of resources, so it's, we should be able to play Darth Vader, Control F, uh, Enter, Tile advances only by one this time, because the balance of the force is not with us, Control Enter, our resources are cleared, Control Enter, Draw Phase, um, do you want to discard this one? Our filler hand, okay, so deployment phase, this time let's try to play something nasty, Darth Vader, the one and only, So, he uh, costs quite a bit to pay, so we have to use all our resources. Two, three, four, five. Darth Vader is in the game. And we probably want to keep him for defense at the moment. Simply control enter. Conflict phase. There's no point in attacking objectives at the moment because we're quite defenseless. We're just going to go to the force phase and send him to the force because he's got elite which means he can fight and have enough ref uh, re take away the focus to play next turn and we finished so now the balance of the force tips to our side it's 4 versus 1 so only C-3PO and against Darth Vader so again the token comes to our side now I did deliberately I press control and then once more after my fin turn is finished and this points out this confirmation. This basically, if you try to play out of turn, it will have inform you that it's still your opponent's turn. So you can, if for some reason you take over or for some reason you can bypass it, but normally you want to play now. So let's go to the Jedi. So let's start our turn. Balance phase, we don't control the force. Refresh phase. Throw phase. Um, probably this is going to be useful. This one we don't need for now. Deployment phase. So we have a very nasty one on the other side. So we probably want to play something 
powerful. I believe in the old ways is quite useful. So let's bring here two, and this time we're going to bring here with Guillaume and Tobagoba. When you use this resource, it more by itself generates two. It will ask you how many you want to use. Remember that for each resource you produce, it puts one focus on your unit. So uh, you probably want to be able to. Uh, if you don't need all the resources, you want to be able to use only one. In this case, I am going to use only one because I have two, three, four, five, six. That's enough to bring both of the units I need. So one plus one, two. And then I'm also going to bring the secret informant. One plus one plus one. Okay. Conflict phase. Okay, so there we go. Now we can try to finish with these objectives. This targeting I've forgotten here. Let's remove it. So we have our Twi'lek loyalist. Darth Vader is quite nothing, but he can only hit, kill one of our units. So it should be quite useful to send them all. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to target one of the objectives. Let's see this one. Control A to target. And then we're going to send our secret informant to our loyalty list. And I believe in the old ways. On the other side, Darth Vader, we're going to use him for defense. So, edge guards. Let's start. The attacker plays first, play an edge guard. On the other hand, see what we have. We have here in the suite of the battle, edge guard. Going back to the first player. We want a bit more edge against Darth Vader, so let's play Return of the Jedi. And here we don't have a lot. And we probably want to play one probably should have played this card earlier then we would have had more cards for the edge battle but too late now uh, just use it as an edge card okay so my opponent will pass and the Sith will pass so again double click on your edge cards to reveal them and the game will inform you if there's any fate cards to resolve first. In this case there is one for both sides, so hit of battle on both sides. They're both synchronous, so act the active player goes first. Actually, no. The ZA hit of battle has only five, so it goes first. So we do one damage to, to Darth Vader. And in this case we have another hit of the battle, we can kill one of the units. And we want to kill... Ah, since we have a secret informant on the Jedi, she has the ability that our fate cards is for the second time. So it's a second wound on Darth Vader. Just because of her ability. So since the secret form already resolved, we don't want to... We don't care about her anymore. But we do care about the Twi'lek loyalist. Because he can actually do damage and uh, do tactics, which will keep... Darth Vader uh, exhausted. So we're going to assign the damage to the Twi'lek Loyalist. Done. So in this case we have to kill him. He doesn't have any anything to help him. Destroy his card as well. And now the engagement can begin. First of all we have to calculate our force struggle. Double click on one player has to double click on their card. Again, little edge icon tell you who won. You can see it in the chat. Once you're done with that, simply discard your cards, so they're not in the way, and now the Jedi goes first. So probably we want to damage the objective, both of these damage the objective, but only one will be able to strike. So which one is more useful? Probably here. So we're going to strike here, so we force Darth Vader to attack the informant instead. So let's show you how now how it works. Yeah, see, I keep missing the targeting. Okay, so she has one unit damage and one blast damage. 
plus damage, you don't need to target anything. We'll automatically go to the targeted objective. Unit damage, we simply target Darth Vader and then double click the unit. You see, one unit got damaged, she got focused, and the game will inform you here. TP0, strike the lever the old way for one unit damage, Darth Vader, and one plus damage. Done. Now, Darth Vader's turn. He in turn targets a secret informant, double clicks. Darth Vader, two unit damage to secret informant. Darth Vader doesn't do anything else. So the secret informant dies before he can, she can actually hit again. We're done. Both our units are exhausted, as you noticed. Darth Vader has two focus counters, even though he strikes once, because he is committed to the force. So, the engagement is finished, the active player presses F10 to finish it, both our units are untapped, and yeah, this objective is now finished. I thought you had less damage, but probably I was wrong. What did Darth Vader attack? I don't know, maybe I missed it. Okay, so the objective now has five points of damage, so it gets get discarded. So simply right click on it, discard. And this will tell you that you thwarted the fall of the Jedi. The objective won't go to your discard pile, it will go to your opponents. The little objective destroyed counter will increase, and if you want, you can see which cards you destroyed here. So I'm going to click on it, and it will show you. Okay, so this engagement is finished, the Jedi continue. There's more conflict to be had. So once again, we're going to send C3PO, uh, R2D2 to the objective, he's unopposed anyway. Control A, attack, strike, does nothing, F10, bonus damage. Okay, finally, C3PO doesn't matter if he's. It matters if he's committed to the force because now, because Darth Vader is disabled, is uh, exhausted, so he doesn't count for the balance of the force. So you're going to see that in a bit. Control Enter, force phase, I'm not going to do anything. Lender. The force phase comes to us because I have one and the dark side has zero. That fader is exhausted. Once again, we start. Control Lender. Oops. Control Lender. Test our advance by one. Control Lender. We refresh. Now, as you can see, our objectives are pushed up and a new objective comes into play as we're supposed to do. Control Lender. Draw phase. See if I want to discard anything. I'm going to keep them. We refill our hand and deployment phase. Um, yes. Uh, as you saw, Darth Vader automatically removed both of his focus tokens because he's elite, and the game takes care that he removes everything he doesn't need. He knows the extra one, yeah? So, what we have here, we have an interrogation droid, the hand's blessing. Probably we want some more defense at this point. So we have two and two, and then we can keep the money. So let's first of all bring the Sith library, so we have more money. Then, tie advanced, cost two. One, two. And finally, we have something interesting to do. Now, we can play Force Lightning, which is quite interesting, because we will also allow Darth Vader to do extra damage. And we want to do it now because you can only play this on an exhausted unit. So we're going to play it now. Uh, it only costs us two because we have the Emperor's Web. We cost reduce the cost to play this. So force lighting. One, two. Now theoretically we could use this to pay for it fully, but if you let's say you didn't have the other resource, you have the Emperor's Web, and you want to just use it with the two resources. If you still, if uh, uh, you have an effect that reduces the cost and the game doesn't recognize it yet, you can simply double click on the card that you have to pay. It will tell you you have not paid the cost of the card. If you want to bypass, press yes. 
a game will inform the, the opponent that you bypass the full cost. He should understand, or you should let him know that you put this ability. You can drag this arrow by shift, clicking on the source and dragging to the target. That will give you an opponent an idea why you did it. And now we can actually destroy a unit. So we're going to target it. This is simply to let the opponent know. So your opponent now can simply destroy this unit. And now we can also use Darth Vader's ability. Again, use your opponent know that you're using his ability somehow. Either type it. Vader's ability. And maybe target. Be useful and target the unit you want. So we want to target R2D2. Shift click to target it. Alt T to put the damage. Your opponent has destroyed. Here we go. Quite useful. We discard the card. So let's now go to the conflict phase. So this time let's go on the offensive. This time let's attack one objective. Let's attack this one. We're going to send out I advanced. Yep, I forgot to start the arrangement. Control A. Die advanced. It starts. Um, we know that if we set Tripio, it's going to kill him anyway, so there's no point in it. The Jedi player will pass. And simply double click on the unit. One extra damage. Now inform your opponent that you do some extra damage with the Die advanced. Type it in the chat, whatever. So then. Alt D and other damage because of the ability of the die advanced. Um, remember that uh, if you don't actually do the uh, edge battle, the game won't know uh, that uh, you won if you won't go unopposed. Um, I'm going to automate this in the future so the game will know if you automatically win the edge battle because you're unopposed. But uh, until then, uh, simply do any effects manually. Okay, so F10, we finished. An extra damage because you're unopposed. So, 4 out of 5, still not dead. And we're going to press Ctrl Enter. The Darth Vader will stay as he is because we probably want to get the balance of the force back to us. Force phase, stay as we are. We end our turn. Okay, so start our turn, balance phase, refresh phase, throw phase. We don't have any Jedi, probably going to get one. Okay, got Yoda and Jedi in hiding, quite good stuff. Okay, so let's bring. I skipped my deployment phase, my mistake. So if you actually skip a phase and want to go back, just go phases, deployment phase. So let's bring Yoda. He costs three, has quite a lot of force. And one, two, three. He's in. So we probably want to give him an enhancement. We have this nice lightsaber here. So once again, same trick, target the unit you want to enhance, play the lightsaber, use the lightsaber. There we go. Finally, let's bring another unit. Set a hiding. This time we're going to use the full resources from this one. Tuck, two resources. Okay, now the lightsaber here has an ability that gives the enhanced unit some extra damage, and Z uh, Yoda has an ability that gains extra damage. So these things are not automated yet. Uh, you have to keep in mind uh, as you play. Conflict phase. Okay, our Yoda is quite advanced at this moment. He can do uh, one damage, one plus damage, and then uh, two edge enabled damage and two edge enabled plus damage quite powerful if you can actually win the edge battle, but at the moment I don't have any edge cards, so I'm not 
don't think it's a good idea to go on the offensive at this moment. Let's just go to the force phase, send Yoda to the force. He is quite uh, powerful for the force. Control leader, we're done. Back to the dark side. Control lender, the Tessa advances. Control lender, refresh. Control lender, throw phase. Let's say we want to keep. Okay, deployment phase once more. We probably want these guys to protect Darth Vader. So one draw neutral, one Sith. Then let's bring the Night Sister. One, two, three. And we have one resource left, which is just enough to play the punch blazing. But we don't need it now. But why not? Doesn't hurt. So let's play the hands blessing on Darth Vader. One resource. Oops, that's neutral. So that was a mistake. I played it wrong. So we got to take it back. Let's stay like this. Is. So control ender. Conflict phase. So let's attack. We have quite a lot of attacking power. But it's going to be scary a bit with Darth Vader. We're going to instead oh, I can actually play intimidated ah. that's not let's keep it for the edge. Okay so let's go for an attack. Let's find try to discard this objective. Control A send the TIE fighter and just a TIE fighter I think should be enough unless he sends Yoda and wins the edge yeah let's set that Darth Vader later to a different objective so in this case let's protect with the Jedi in hiding okay let's go for the edge something cheap. The thing hiding has one. And we probably want to do the damage with the tie advanced. So we want to send this guy. On this side let's play him. As you can see quite uh, difficult choices here. So let's say that's enough. Reveal the cards. So no, no fate cards, so just double click on the ones. It will tell you who won. Nobody gets the upper hand in the struggle, so the DBO remains the edge as a defender. So I get the edge as a defender. Which means I get the first strike. So target the attacker, double click, two damage. That's it. I advance can only take two damage, destroy it. So that's it. Recent journey is finished. F10, done. Uh, don't forget to discard your edge cards. Okay, so let's try to attack a different objective with Darth Vader. And why not? The Emperor's card. No. Doesn't matter. And let's defend with Yoda. See what happens. So, let's guard. Let's guard. Let's guard. Nothing more to play. Pass. Pass. Reveal. Reveal. Double click to see one. The dark side, DB0. So he strikes first. So, in this case, quite easy. Target Yoda, double click on Vader, two damage on the objective, two damage on Yoda. Yoda goes kaput. And fight with the other unit, doesn't do actually do anything. We did uh, when I'm opposed, so when you press F1, F10, you finish. So, anyway, uh, by now I've shown you basically the functionality of the game. This 
but not much left to show uh, as uh, the game improves uh, are we going to be adding more automations there's some other stuff that uh, if you right click on the game I'm going to show you now um, you can go to timing structures references and you can actually get these little helping cards to help you remember how various phase go and when you can actually play actions there you go um, what else is there to show um, just keep in mind that uh, most of the things you can simply do with double click on your cards uh, take care that you always remember to advance your phases by simply pressing control enter until uh, you finish your turn uh, the engagements are not uh, phase separated so when you enter an engagement you don't have to press control enter um, I'm thinking of maybe doing it for that as well so that you have some sequence for the uh, uh, engagement uh, but for not just uh, arrange with your opponent and uh, remember to always discard your cards and uh, clear your targets so that you don't have leftovers in the table so you don't target the wrong thing by mistake and uh, yeah that's pretty much it once the game finishes 12 points the game uh, for now it doesn't announce it but in the future it will it will announce when you've actually reached the victory condition and uh, that's about it and enjoy the game